but let's jump straight into the demo. Um, I've got a very simple part here. And I'm just going to create a flat pattern. I'm just going to pick a default face. I'm using the default methods here. And we've got our flat pattern view. And the first thing you'll notice here is the call out labels are a single PMI label. They're not individual discrete labels. Um, and what I can do within here is go into the settings and you'll see it brings up the PMI settings associated to here. And I can turn on and off individual components within these labels. We've also got the flat pattern properties. So if I go into flat pattern and look at the properties, we can see the cut lengths, the number of cutouts and so on is here. We put that right on the flat pattern view for you. And of course, all of this information is uh, available downstream. So again, I can go into these individually and I can change. For example, I'm going to remove exterior and interior cut length. Um, that's uh, on, on the individual ones here. If I go into preferences or customer defaults in PMI, I can set these up through the sheet metal flat pattern area. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn everything off for this part of the demonstration and just leave Ben Sequence ID turned on. And I'm going to clear the text. So all I'm going to get in my leader is a number. And I'm going to go back and create another flat pattern view. And we'll look at that flat, flat pattern view. And you can see here, I've just got the Ben Sequence ID numbers as leaders. And the value of that, if I move across to PMI and look at the table, uh, we can create a Ben table within the view. And we're still working on some of the UI and the alignment and position of this table as we go forward through EAP. But what you can clearly see here is I've got a very clean flat pattern view with identifiers for each of the bends, and I've got the uh, bend information in a table. And again, this is a logic rule, so it can be configured, but we're just doing this default one out of the box. OK, if I go and change and edit a feature, for example, I'm going to change the bend angle from 45 to 30. You can see the view updated here, but the table didn't. What we need to do there is to go into the rule and update, and then our bend angle updates to 30. So just a, a bit of information there. So moving on to the, the, the the second set of uh, enhancements was, was the settings within customer defaults. I go to my flat pattern area and we can see our orientation method. We can see our fix at current timestamp capability and the show louver curves, cutout curves, interior cutouts. And let me just demonstrate what that means. I've set up in my display my interior cutouts are a, a deep blue thick line style, so we can clearly see them. And what you can see here is the piercing through the material is represented as an interior cutout. And if I look at the cut lengths here, 742, if I change this setting to show them as interior features, we can see the cut length has changed. And these are not going to be pierced as far as the flat pattern is concerned. They can be uh, cut through just with the louver feature when that comes along. I'm just reading a comment about, in addition to flat pattern properties, can you take sheet metal material thickness to these notes? Total cut length and material thickness plus raw material will be good. OK, I'll, uh, I'll follow up after the demonstration. I'll stay on the call, Nicholas, and, uh, and I'll uh, I'll respond to that. I just wanted to very quickly drop this view into the drafting application. And what I can do here is create a base view, create my flat pattern view, jump into my settings, and within PMI, 
I can inherit from model view, drop the view in there, and I've got the information and my drawing's complete. And this, of course, also follows through to technical data package in the same way. Cards. Driven by digitalization.